About two months ago, um, I received some locks from Javid. The uh, Postal Service tore up a package and lost some locks and keys out of it. My postal delivery person, uh, she uh, found a lock in her mail vehicle, mail delivery vehicle, and she thought it was mine, so uh, it probably was. So she gave it to me. Probably want to come from Javid. Uh, it's an ASEC ASIC. It's a six pin. And uh, let's see if we can open it up. I haven't opened it yet. I just received it in the mail. But I'll see if we can open it and see what kind of pin Javid has in it. I'm sure it is one of Javid's uh, locks. Okay, we're going to use the uh, top of the keyway. And uh, see if we can get a little closer here. Alright, we're going to start at the back and work way to the front. Okay, there was pin 6. Okay, pin uh, three, pin two, pin one, give us a little false set. Let's go to the back again. Okay, that was pin 6. Maybe the other one was pin 5. Okay. Pin 4. Getting some feedback off pin 1, but uh, okay, there was pin 4 again. Okay, there's pin one. Okay, feel like pin six set then. Feel like pin five might be set. Just give me a little feedback. A little bit more on pin one, pin two. Okay, let's try a little deeper hook. Okay, pin five. Still, pin one is um, giving us some feedback. Okay, pin one, pin two. I believe the clip fell off the back of the lock.
Okay, pin two gives us a little bit more. Pin three. Pin six not wanting to set. Maybe I'm hitting a different pin with my pick. Let's see here. Okay, pin one is giving us a problem. There it is, open. Yep, we dropped the clip off the back so we don't have to be taking the clip off. Turning a little bit, let's um, use a shim on it. All right, let's see what we have in it. All right, pin one. is a serrated key pin. Pin two is a uh, serrated type key pin. Pin three is serrated type key pin. Pin four is a serrated type key pin. And a little small piece on top of it. Pin 5 is serrated. And pin 6 is serrated. Alright, let's check our uh, top pins. Okay, a serrated... Uh, Top pin, a spool, a spool, whoops, two spools, and a serrated uh, pin. Let's look at the uh, plug, see if there's anything wrong with the plug. Oh, every hole in it has been enlarged. And uh, two, three, and f uh, two, four, and six looks like they've been uh, threaded or counter, counter milled. Yeah, every hole in it is kind of enlarged. I don't know where you can see the uh, counter milling in those uh, threads or not. I mean, the But two, four, and six have been uh, threaded. Maybe you can see it there. All right, Javid, I thank you for this uh, nice lock. And I'm sure it's yours with these pins. So let's take a closer look at the pins. Okay, and number uh, one and two slot, 
This is a uh, serrated type key pin or mushroom type key pin. Okay, this is a serrated uh, upper pin. Has a spool on number two and a uh, serrated type uh, mushroom type um, key pin. And it is smaller at the top than it is the bottom. Okay, and on number uh, three and four, we've got another uh, small key pin at the top and uh, than it is at the bottom, and a spool. Got another spool in this one, and this had a um, little wafer on top of the. Uh, The key pin, which is a uh, mushroom type. Okay, and here it looks like a um, shape of something come out of World War II. And a spool. And then number six, um, we've got another uh, type of T-pin, uh, serrated T-pin with a uh, spool type, uh, I mean a spool type key pin and then a serrated uh, type T-pin for the top upper pin. Okay, that's what we have in this um, lock. I appreciate your time and I thank you for watching. Please do not do anything illegal, and please stay out of trouble. And thank you again. Appreciate it.